<laughs> Where the f*** you in my... You're in my room. Oh, God, I'm tripping. <laughs> it's f crazy. Oh, hold on, man. <laughs> so salvia is a is an herb that originates in Mexico. And in many states, it's not technically illegal. And that herb has been used for many years by shamans practicing traditional healing and medicine as a uh, psychoactive substance. It's extremely strong. Um, it's stronger than anything that, people tell me that it's stronger than anything they've ever tried before, but only for five minutes and then it's over. Oh, look. Don't be doing that. What are you, whoa, what the f is going on? <laughs> Relax. They go to a whole nother place and they are in that place. They're not here in this place anymore. One thing in particular that's noteworthy and important is that this is often used by younger people. And younger people's brains are still maturing. And we now know that when young people use psychoactive substances, and that could be alcohol, pot, or any other psychoactive substance, that it makes them much more prone to develop alcohol and drug use disorders as they grow older. If you're experimenting with salvia, uh, the chances are you may be exposed to people experimenting or using other substances which we know are addictive and habit forming. The mindset of a young person using a substance such as salvia uh, is very predictive of that young person using other even higher risk substances. You gotta watch this. Do you know what you were just doing? Oh, I'll give another minute. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Probably one tenth of one percent come back for more. This particular substance, salvia, has been used by about 1.2 million people in their lifetimes and about 750,000 people in the last year. And when you go to the internet, most of the sites that I reviewed condone the use or at least uh, certainly don't speak to the possible risks.